Hey, how's it going, Arnie? It's Clash here, and today we are going to be looking for some pumpkins. We're going on the pumpkin hunt, and hopefully we can find some. We probably won't, though, because I usually fail when I search for stuff, but either way, I shall try my best, and we shall hopefully have fun times looking for pumpkins, because I really need some to uh, breed the horses that we have, so we can get, like, a pack horse and a uh, black horse, or is it the... We already have a black horse, but the Nightmare, it's like a special type of horse. It's got, like, red eyes and stuff. And then there's the Black Pegasus. That's what I wanted to say before. But, yeah. Hopefully we can get one. Hopefully we can get one of each of those particular horse breeds. If not, then I can at least say that I tried, you know. But I'm not even sure where to go to look for pumpkins. But hopefully I don't have to stray away from our castle and everything too far. Because, um... If I did, and I, like, lost the location of the castle, that would really suck. But there's a cow here, and I kind of want to tame it, because I actually really want to have, like, livestock and stuff, and have, like, baby cows everywhere, and also baby chickens and stuff. But for now, I want to focus on the task at hand. I do have it set so that vanilla mods can spawn in, uh, because Mo Creatures gives me that option. And I want to do that just until, you know, I have livestock and everything, because... You know, of course, if you kill all of the ones that are initially where you're at when you spawn in at the beginning of the world, you know, you kill them all, they'll all disappear forever, and that kind of sucks, because if you want to have, like, livestock and stuff for, you know, killing and also, like, making milk and stuff, then you're going to be shit out of luck. And uh, we got some birds over here, and some coal and lava. There's lots of lava around these parts. Like, I don't know what the deal is, but... Lava just seems to be everywhere, but these birds are chirping and stuff. And I think there's more lava over there. Looks more like magma, or like really molten rock, than uh, lava in this particular texture pack, but... It's all good. I'm not exactly sure where, but I remember seeing pumpkins somewhere. And, uh, I don't only want pumpkins for breeding the horses, and I know that we can use bread for breeding the horses, but... I think pumpkins are a little bit better, like they're a little bit more efficient. But, um, also, I would like to make snow golems, and I'm also hoping to find a, uh, snow biome for collecting snow, and, you know, that purpose as well, making snow golems. Just have them in, like, rooms around the castle, or maybe put them in the towers, I think that might be cool. That might be something to think about, unless they jump out of the towers and kill themselves, that'd be kind of poopy. But, uh, there's a duck right there. We got, like, a path that leads under the mountain here. It's like a natural bridge over here. Never really explored these parts of the world, but it is very purpley indeed. Around here with this grass and everything, but that was some scary music. Little scary sound playing out right there. I don't like that. I don't like scary sounds. They make me feel uncomfortable. And there's an Enderman over here. Oh no, let's kill him. Why not? Oh god, oh god, he's charging me, he's charging me. No, you don't want to do this. You really don't, because I have a diamond sword, and I will beat your ass with it, buddy. Where you at? I'm telling you, if he comes back, we're gonna kill him. He can teleport all day. He's still gonna die. Alright, what's over here? Apparently nothing. That's great. He's hiding out in a cave that had nothing in it. That's probably why he left. Holy crap. I am dying of starvation. Yeah, we got plenty of melon slices now. The uh, melons grow pretty quickly, which is awesome. And the melon slices can stack up to 64, which is cool. And they don't, re you know, replace that much of your hunger bar, but... All the same, they are pretty helpful when you don't want to... Uh, die of starvation, because you get so many melon slices when you punch one melon that it's like... It's all good. I don't know what crocodiles are doing over here. You guys really have no business being in this neck of the woods. But, um, what the hell is this? Is this sandstone? I think it is. Yep. So, there are no pumpkins just yet, and it is already nighttime. God damn it. This sucks. There's a cave over here. Don't think there's gonna be pumpkins in a cave, but at least we can explore for a little bit. Oh god! No! Don't do this! Aw, oh, poop. Well, at least he didn't really hurt me. He did take out my torch. What a jerk. Let's go ahead and make some more torches while I'm thinking of that. I'm only going to need some more to light up the area. Alrighty. There we go. Alrighty. I think we should be good here. This is a pretty big-ass cave. Oh, God. Skeleton. 
The skeletons look pretty awesome with this texture pack. Look at that. He's got like a mask on and stuff. Alright. So yeah, I don't really feel like exploring this cave though, to be honest. I really just want to look for pumpkins, but since it's nighttime now, kind of sucks because we can't really see what we're doing. I am sad. Alrighty. Screw this cave for now, but I would like to light up the area just so I know where this cave is and I can come back to it. It's always fun to explore caves. That's something I used to do a lot in Narnia Craft, back in the old world especially. Because back then it was funner to explore because it was rare if you found something good. You know, if you found iron, it was actually a big deal. After 1.8, iron is just ridiculously common. And there's a sheep over here. And is that a chicken? Yes, it is. Cool. Now we're getting, like, actual livestock that we can collect and stuff. I don't know how I'm going to bring them back to the castle. That's the only problem. Because they don't seem to want to spawn, like, really close by to where I live, which is not a good thing. Is the brightness on 100%? I think it is. Brightness is on bright. Yep. Let's keep it that way so I can see during the nighttime. But I think around here is where I found the pumpkins before. We got more sheep over here, which is always good. Look at you guys. Look at you. You look like a raccoon sheep. He's got, like, the... The mask thing going on. Look at his little, his little feetsies right there. His black feet. I'm liking the skins for this particular uh, texture pack. I'm digging it. It's all pretty cool. It's got that RPG feel, and it's actually something that uh, Double found. And I think we're going to be doing this map, and it's related to a game that I really like. And uh, it should be pretty fun to do that. Hopefully, we're going to do that. Uh, in the next couple of days, we're actually going to do something else as well. We're going to be doing lots of parkour stuff, lots of Minecraft-related things, but... All I can say is that I am really excited to see what is to come for the future, for the channel, you know, Minecraft-related and otherwise. Music-related especially, like, I am super stoked about uh, what's going down with the music aspect of my channel in the near future. Hopefully things will really take off, guys, and I'm really excited, and... Um, yeah, there's not much else I can say about it other than that, but I can't wait until the song goes up. It is really, really close to being done, and in fact, after I am done recording this Narnia craft, what I'm going to do is actually uh, focus on recording the vocals for this new song. And it's going to be kind of tough. I kind of made things a little bit difficult for myself by uh, making it so that, you know, like, the, the, the notes are kind of hard to hit for me because I don't have the greatest vocal range ever. But there's a zombie over here, who looks pretty scary. He's missing an eye or some shit. And I hear a wolf. <laughs> oh god, ah! No! Don't do this, guys! No, I don't want to hurt you! But you're giving me no choice. Stupid wolves, they aren't even the good kind of wolf, so it's okay. They're the evil, red-eyed kind of wolf. What's up, sheep? How's it going? Enjoying life? I hope so. I really do. He does look like a raccoon, though. Like a raccoon with a, um, <clears throat> excuse me, some kind of weird sheep fur going on. And I hear an enderman. There he is. What's up, bro? Can I kill you? Will you mind if I kill you? Oh, he teleported. Oh, no. See, this seems like the area where I would find pumpkins. I don't know why. I think in an area similar to this, I found pumpkins before. But there's some sugar cane over here. Ow, stupid enderman. Wow, that was a very disturbing death scream right there. I'm sorry, Enderman, but I didn't even mean to look at you. I'm getting, like, lag? What the hell is that about? I think it's because people are messaging me on Skype, which is always going to give me lag for some reason. Like, it just makes stuff get all wonky for a second, which I do not approve of. You know, I'm not a fan of this, and it keeps on happening, which is really annoying. And here's the desert area. Are those wolves? I think they are. Don't really want to go out there. I want to stay to the foresty region and keep looking for pumpkins here. Well, at the very least, we're getting stuff that's attacking us. It's always fun to battle stuff in Narnia. We're clearing out all the bad guys, and in fact, I don't even think ogres are going to spawn in on easy. Let's change it to normal, and maybe we'll get some ogres. That ought to be fun. They'll probably kick my ass, but it'll still be fun. Hopefully. Hopefully you guys will be entertained if an ogre decides to kill me. And you sheep are spawning in everywhere now. See, look at this. And... Alrighty. Whoa, look at that. Holy crap. 
I am definitely getting towards areas that I've never seen before. Oh, man. There's another wolf over here. What's up, bro? You look pretty mad-faced. Now you're dead. That has got to suck. Wait a minute. Did I just see a pumpkin? I don't think so. I think maybe perhaps I mistook this uh, flowery thing for a pumpkin. I'm kind of sad. Like, this reminds me of a place where I found pumpkins once before. Long ago and far away. I found pumpkins in an area that looked kind of like this. I don't even know what happened to those pumpkins. I think maybe I just got rid of them all, like I destroyed them or whatever, but... I don't know. Maybe I also let them in a chest somewhere in a cave. But either way, I'm definitely sad that I can't find any right now. If we can't find any during this episode, though, we'll just go ahead and... You know, holy shit. Oh, God, that's an ogre. That's an ogre. Oh, he's blowing stuff up. And I'm stuck. Ow, ow, don't do this. You don't want to do this, ogre. You're gonna die! He's dead. Yay. Victory is mine. Wow. I thought that was a wolf, but it ended up being an ogre. That was pretty scary. All right. So, um... Yeah, even if we don't find pumpkins, I'm just gonna, like, find them off camera. Or if it gets too bad, if it gets to the point where, oh, gosh. No! He's attacking that sheep. Jackass skeleton. Yeah, get you and your skeletal self out of here. We don't need shenanigans today. There's a rat over here. Yes, give me that coal that you like to poop out whenever you die. That's really weird. I don't know why you're just pooping out coal when you die, but whatever. Is that an ogre? Oh, no, that's a werewolf. Holy shit. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. But yeah, if it gets too bad to the point where I just can't find pumpkins and I've spent, like, a long time searching for them, then I'll just say, screw it, and, you know, spawn them in if it gets that bad. But I'm surprised that this werewolf isn't attacking the sheep. They're, like, best buddies. Could have sworn that werewolves hated sheep and wolves in general, but this guy's so, like, fluffy and stuff. I want to keep him as a pet. Wish you could tame werewolves. That'd be awesome. I'm so sad that I have to kill this guy. They're kind of hard to kill on normal, though. It's taking a while, and I've got a diamond sword, man. Okay, this is ridiculous. Holy crap. This guy is strong. Wow. This is an epic battle for Narnia right here. Holy crap. All right. You really need to die, buddy. Oh, my gosh. Can he not die? Uh, I'm a little worried, guys. Like, I'm almost upset. Wait a minute. He won't die. Holy crap. Can you please die, werewolf? This is ridiculous, man. I'm a little bit scared. Please let the sun come up. Come on, sun! I need you to rise! This is not good at all, man. Eh, hey, he died. What the hell? <laughs> wow, that was ridiculous. How'd he die? Ooh, a golden apple. Yay, he dropped a golden apple. Let's get rid of this fence here. I'm stoked. And he dropped an iron tool? Huh, sandstone. What is splashing right now? Is something trying to kill me? No, it's just a sheep. It's just the raccoon sheep. No worries. I like the way his feet look. I don't know why. He just looks, he looks so adorable. Oh, well. I'm not ashamed to say that that sheep looks adorable. Where, what the hell? Did that ogre just disappear? Or? I know I saw an ogre around here somewhere. Look at this cave, man. We have some gold? What is that? Oh, that's iron, I think. Yes, I believe it is. And I can't even take it because I have no room. Let's get rid of the dirt. And it is iron ore. Well, I don't really care for iron. Because honestly, I have like 300 iron ingots sitting in chests back at home. And, um, daylight. The heck? Oh, there's daylight. And here's another part of the cave, and it just stops. And I did hear a rat. I don't know where it went. Or maybe it was a mouse. Whatever. Let's get back to the surface. And, ooh, there's another part of the cave over here that I have not seen. That ogre must have just, like, ninjaed his way to victory or something. Because I was going to kill him. I was completely intent on ending his life, but he just disappeared. That's weird. Alrighty, I'm assuming that this leads back to the, uh, the overworld surface. Yes, it does. That is good. Man, you sheep are just, like, spawning in like it's nobody's business. Yeah, that ogre definitely disappeared. 
I don't think they die when they come in contact with the sun, but is that an ogre over there? I think I just caught a glimpse of one. Let's check this out. Hopefully we can kill him. The ogre was easier to kill than the werewolf. What was that about? That was really weird. Is that him? That's a turtle, damn it. Oh, there's an ogre. Alright, we'll kill him. Even though we're not fighting any pumpkins, then, uh, you know, we'll at least kill ogres. It's been a while since we killed any ogres anyway, so holy crap. Crocodiles, no! Leave me alone. Whoa, no, he's death rolling me. Or he was for a second. I don't know what happened there, but... Whatever. Are those turtles? What the hell? Oh, no, that's like grass or something. Hey, what's up, ogre? I should probably go ahead and eat some melons before I get in a fight with this guy. Let's do this really quickly. Hey, he's making noises. Yeah, I think he... No, he didn't see me. And if he did, he doesn't really care. But he will care when I start stabbing him. All right, ogre. Bernardia! Whew! Well, I messed that up. I wanted to jump here. Can I even make this jump? I'm sure I can. Yes, I can. Ha-ha! You fat ass, get out of here. Nobody likes you when you're fat and green, man. Probably smells, too. He's like the Grinch. And it's funny, because I have a Grinch skin on. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, it would appear as though there's no pumpkins in the universe. And we are pretty much out of time, guys. So I want to apologize for not finding any pumpkins. At least we got to adventure for a bit and kill some stuff, which we haven't done in a little while. I know it's been a couple episodes, but I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like because it helps out a tremendously large amount. And um, yeah, it should be a pretty cool weekend full of stuff. Going to record more Narnia Craft and Monarch of Madness and some other Minecraft stuff with Double and Skyrim, of course. And yeah. I will see you guys next time. Love you and peace out.